Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about the importance of using the AND operator or the OR operator in order to debug a strategy. So for example, this is a strategy that I've created for example purpose. So I will just go to set number one and I'll show you the conditions. So it's a very simple condition. Uh, I'll just zoom in a little bit. So what I've done is, what I've said is, this is an MCX related strategy where I want to check whether the futures price of silver mic on a two minute candle that the previous candle is greater than uh, as per the previous close price of silver mic future, the price is greater than 70,000. All right. And at the same time, what I've done is I've created one more condition that position of previous candle should be less than 70,000. So what it means is that this is basically a, a, a basic mistake that I have done, right? That uh, the position of close of silver mic of previous candle should be greater than 70,000 also. And at the same time, it should be less than 70,000 also. Now this condition, since there is a mistake, this strategy should not take a trade, right? So and many times what happens is that you might create a condition with multiple conditions. Uh, there may be an issue with one of the condition because of which the strategy may not take a trade. All right. So in order to debug a strategy, how do we do that is what I'm going to show you in this video. So for example, I will just submit this condition. Now we know that there is a mistake over here, but just in case we were not aware that there is a mistake. And if we deploy this strategy, then what will happen is I will just go to the bottom and I will update and deploy this strategy in paper trading. Now, once we go to the deployed page, uh, what we can see is that even if we wait for a minute or so, then this strategy will not take a trade because as we can see this condition over here uh, is not is, is not going to meet and that's the reason why it will not take a trade. So in order to debug that, what we will do is we will still go to edit page and what we will do is we will go to set number one this condition and we will simply change the condition from and to or so even though this is not as per your construction as per your requirement what we will do is we, the reason why we change this to or is that since one of the conditions out of all these four will will meet at this point in time it will take a trade and it will generate a notification log from where we can understand why the strategy based on the parameters which was the parameter that was not matching because of which it, it did not take the trade when it was in AND condition. Now since it is in OR one of these conditions will be true and it will take the trade but from there we can identify why this particular strategy when it was in AND was not taking a trade. So let's do this as uh, consider this as OR. So for now, it still we will check that you know what uh, in active this strategy is still is in active status since we have not updated any formulas and it is not taking a trade. All right. So now what we will do is we will simply submit this condition with OR condition and we will submit this and close this and update the strategy. So once I update it, what will happen is, so let me just open this condition once again. So this is our condition and this is the strategy that we have deployed. So now as we can see, this strategy has taken a trade. So as we can see over here, the future of silver micro was, uh, was bought at 66,425. Now let's go to our uh, edit strategy where we have put this condition. So our condition was that the price should be greater than 70,000 or uh, in this case when it was and the price should be greater than 70,000 and less than 70,000 also at the same time. So that's the reason why this trade was not taking a place. But since we changed to or what happened was since the current price of silver mic micro is 66,429 one of these conditions that is 70,000 uh, got met this even though this first one and the last two conditions may not be true one of the conditions got met that's the reason why it took a trade in paper trading so now what we will do is we will check the notification log 
in order to check why this particular trade was taken on based on what parameter. So once I click on notification log, I can see that at 11.17, this particular trade was taken, right? So uh, from the time we can see from here. So this at 5th April 11.17 PM, the entry was taken of a buy, uh, a future was bought at 66.425. Since this is the position that we have decided that whenever this condition meets, I want to basically buy one future of uh, silver micro in an MIS. All right. So this is the condition that got uh, uh, triggered and this is the condition that got met. So over here, since this trade has taken place in the notification log, we will see that why this condition which which parameters were met. So for example, over here, it, in the notification log at 11.17, it shows us that the position close of future mic of uh, minus two uh, of two minute candle on a previous uh, previous candle was the value was 66,420. All right. Now the number that we have said this a condition was greater than 70,000. All right. So this condition was not true. The first condition was not true. But the second condition that position close of future mic uh, future uh, silver mic of previous candle should be uh, less than number say 70,000, right? This is the condition. So this condition was true in this case where the value of 66,420 was basically, basically true. So because of which it has taken the trade and it, is, uh, it will also show us the value of this parameter. So that number uh, time is greater than 905. In this case, the time is 2317, which is also true and the time should be less than 2359. So over here also, uh, the time should be 2359, but the current time is 2317. So this condition is also true, which is the reason why now this, this numbers that we get over here, right? All of these numbers, this may not be of our requirement. So you can ignore that. So what is important for us to check is that based on the parameters that we have put in the strategy, what are the values that are generated in front of that particular formula? So for example, if this is the formula that we have put over here, what is the value that is generated over here? So this value as per the data in retro and the current market price, it is currently at 66,420. And as per the formula, we have set it at 70,000. So since one of this condition of the, uh, one of the two conditions is true, that's the reason why it took the trade. All right. So if we again change this to or again, it will not take the trade because uh, this condition, both the conditions will not be true at the same time. So the idea is that this is how you can basically debug a strategy that which of these following conditions might have not met because of which the strategy was not taking the trade when it was in and condition. And that's the reason why we choose or in order to take the trade, it forcefully take the trade. So in this case, the condition was not to, but still we are taking the trade to identify. So in order to get this data from TradeTron based on which values uh, we can decide what is the parameter for which the trade was not taking trade. Uh, trade was not uh, happening. So we can close this now. So this is how we can basically use uh, our condition.